Hello, welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. I am the gaming casual. I wanted to start doing this series once a week. Um, my Super Mario 64 uh, Let's Play will be a daily episode. And this will be a weekly episode or upload. Sorry. So let's begin, shall we? Resident I will be quiet Evil during the cutscenes. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Poor him. Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, 
Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So finally after that initial cutscene, we can take control of our character. Um, in this game, you have to hold down the a trigger button, the left trigger button, and you cannot move while you're aiming. And you see your little, that little laser? Well, you can use that to see where you're aiming at. There's a crow in that tree, and when you see the, the dot, that means you're aiming at something you can actually shoot. You know? So I'm going to shoot that crow. A lot of the crows do drop money and ammo sometimes, and ammo is kind of important as well as money. Ooh that crow was there. This was the first uh, Resident Evil game I've played. Originally it was for the GameCube and then it released again on the PlayStation 2 and other consoles I believe with uh, different like things. Uh, excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! So, uh, in this game, item management is kind of important. So I don't really want to waste too much bullets if I don't have to. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. So, I'm gonna try to save my ammo, especially because this game has a dynamic difficulty where, like, the better you do, the uh, harder it is to find ammo and the smarter the AI gets. And I think just, just, gets harder when you're not doing so well it gets easier so since I don't know how well I'll be doing necessarily I try to save my ammo because some days I'm like really good at this game and other days I'm not so good so there's monsters out there well not monsters they're just villagers at the moment but they do want to kill me and so I don't want to be killed so I will do what I can do to not die oops Whoa, whoa, everything's trying to kill me right now. All right. I'm just gonna use my bullets here. <laughs> when you're surrounded by people, it's kind of like hard not to use your bullets, but when there's just one on one, I can take them with my knife. And I don't wanna like waste too much bullets by shooting randomly. And this game is like a lot harder to be like calm during because as you can see, it's kind of high stress. You got a lot going on. People are trying to murder your face. And it's hard to keep you cool at some times. But because I am playing this game while everyone is asleep, I have to. Uh, like I was saying, this is the first uh, Resident Evil 4. I, <laughs> first, Resident, first Resident Evil game I played. And it's a lot of fun. I, after playing this game, I did eventually play the first one on the GameCube for 
when it was remade on there. And I had a lot of fun playing that game too. It was a lot different, but uh, still a lot of fun. These games are still kind of creepy to me. And I wanted to replay this game because it was on sale. And they are coming out with a remake of it next year sometime with better updated graphics. So before that happens, you know, I kind of wanted to go through it one more time in its original form. Uh, it doesn't look so good on the Nintendo Switch, I'll be honest. I used to have a gaming laptop that I could play video games on, but that was stolen, so I can only play it on my Switch. So there's uh, these bear traps you wanna, you can just use your knife and activate them. These little trip wires will blow you up. Uh, that guy, as you heard, saw me. Sometimes you can lure them into their own traps. Uh, but no, that guy didn't want to, so I'm gonna have to just try not to die. Hit him in the face and kick him. So if you hit him in the face with a bullet or your knife, it stuns him a little bit and you can kick him. So that's good to know. And the money is important because you can upgrade your weapons and buy new weapons. Uh, something that is really kind of, I think, unique to this. I don't know if you could re upgrade your weapons in the other games. I, I'm not going to say. I've only played the first one. Never played Resident Evil 2 or 3. And I guess there's other prequels. Uh, funny story about this. The first time I played this on the GameCube, you know, you come in here, you take this stuff, and you turn around, and that thing... I jumped, nearly jumped out of my seat when I seen that. So I'm just gonna come over here, try to take these guys on. Oops. As you can see, they can dodge your bullets and stuff. I think that guy's dead. Not sure though. Oh, that guy wasn't dead. Oh, shoot. Only needed one more hit on him. All right, and so the better you do, the more they're likely they're going to dodge your bullets. They're not like completely stupid when it comes to that sometimes. Sometimes they'll just sit there and let you shoot them, but... Those guys aren't going to kill me. They're just going to warn the village that I'm here, I bet. Okay. I'm not going to promise I won't ever die, because uh, dying is a big part of this game. Oops. I mean, you'd have to be pretty good not to die. thought I hit him enough to stun him so I could kick him, but I didn't hit him directly in the head, more like in the neck. So hopefully I don't die too often on screen, but I can't make any promises. And uh, let's head into the next area here. How you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. So this manual just shows you the ins and outs, the controls. Um, you can read it if you want to if you're playing this game. I invite you to play along with me if you want. Or you can just watch me play. But if you've never played this game, I'd recommend giving it a shot. So, looks like we got that guy on a hook. This is uh, one of the biggest parts of the beginning. It's really uh, <laughs> intense part. And uh, hopefully I don't die. Because it is easy to die in this. But, do I have a grenade? I did. So this is your inventory picked up a grenade. I'm going to be using it. Because if you come over here, there's this group of people over here. And I just took a axe to the groin. Oops. You can combine the red and the green herbs. And that red and green herb mixture makes a full heal. I need to 
and shoot this guy. There we go. I had, to, I had to stop talking for a second just to concentrate on that. All right, and he drops a ruby, and that's all I really wanted from him. Pick her down. Knife. This guy has a pitchfork. He wants to fork me. I don't want a fork. No, I don't want an axe. I have to run around here because there's going to be another cutscene that I want to activate. Obviously, a lot of the times, the first thing you're going to want to do is, like, run into this open door. But they don't always want to let you do that. Aha. the first time playing this game or not playing this game but seeing this game I was in the game not GameCube GameStop and uh, there were some people playing the demo and I was just watching them play the demo and I was just like whoa and they were the demo had this part in the game and it like had having never heard of Resident Evil before it, the, watching them play the demo inspired me to want to like reserve a copy and like use my allowance to save up and buy it. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't just die. Let's jump over. There they come. Okay. A good tactic for me is I just go over here and hide. People will throw, uh, you know, stuff at you, so. I don't, I do have another grenade. I did pick up that shotgun, so I should be doing pretty good. I'm just kind of waiting for that guy right there. There's my guy. The shotgun's really good to keep people back. Boom. Back. I don't know you. I didn't do any damage to him. What the heck? I'm... Well, I'm boned. No, I'll just use my shotgun. Take a shotgun in the face. I don't want to die. I'm allergic to dying. It causes me not to breathe anymore. Alright. Look at all these guys. It looks like they're at... They went to some kind of convention. Like a look-alike convention or something. That's one of the, you know, not a lot of character models in this game. But what can you do? Man, I wasted that grenade on that guy. And it didn't even do any damage to him. I feel like an idiot. Get back. I need to pick up this stuff before it disappears. Ah! <laughs> I'll try not to scream. I can avoid it. But this game is a lot more uh, scary than uh, Super Mario 64, as you can probably tell. Look at that guy. He dodged my, my uh, attack there. When you have your knife out, it's like different than aiming for some reason like aiming a gun feels natural but when I use my knife it's not so natural everyone going? Bingo?
Flanagan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. So, got some breathing room now. We don't have the people down our necks, so we can kind of explore and like uh, loot some of the stuff that's in here. I don't know if I missed anything. I think I'm going to... I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. I think they might be a little bit longer than my side, my main series. Just because this is kind of just me legitimately just playing this game. So, you know. And my episodes, my Let's Plays aren't meant to be walkthroughs or guides. I do know a lot about this game, though. So, I will share what I do and don't know. But, um... Hopefully, uh, if you're watching, you just kind of like to listen to me talk, explain some stuff. I understand if you don't. Uh, I'm going to be playing this game anyway, so I figured why not record it. Everything can be used as content for your channel. So, I have no problem uh, recording myself play and uh, uploading it to the tube. This, uh village uh, brings back a lot of memories to be honest I think this game came out in 2005 I was 15 at the time so the better part of my youth back when before everything started hurting you know as you get older your back starts hurting for no reason and other things I right, just loaded that gun up. Shotgun. You want to keep your weapons loaded, if at all possible. Possible, but. And just because uh, it, every gun has its own reload speed, and you don't want to be caught with your pants down having to reload your weapon while someone's trying to get you. At least, like, not right out of the gate. So some of these doors have these locks on them. You can knife them, you can shoot them, or you can just bust down the door. If you, if it's the lock is still on there, you just hit the door three times with your foot. I should probably explain that uh, when you open the door, like it says Y. If you just push Y, it will slowly open it. But if you double tap Y, or the open door button, and we'll kick it open. Um, I don't think there's any... I don't know if noise is a factor in this game too much. So I don't think there's any negative to just kicking the door open, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so... Incendiary, incendiary grenade. Alright, I think I pretty much grabbed most of the stuff in this section of the village. keep seeing these little lines on my screen. I don't know if that's from the capture card or what. I will at some point maybe one day need to get a better capture card. But I don't know when that will be. Alright. Uh, I think I got everything in here. So we can't go into this door. It's locked. Um, there's some kind of symbol on the door. So we need to find a key. Oh, I think I see something back in this little box here. Oh, just some money. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's not a whole, it wasn't a lot of money, so. Alright. Let's, uh, continue going this way. Maybe there's some stuff in here. I like Leon's jacket in this game. I know that's kind of an odd thing to say, but... Alright, let's see what this says. Alert order. Recently there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get into contact with the prisoners. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. 
Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Batoris Mendez. So there's some uh, backstory, side story, main story. I don't know what you want to call it. Lore. But there's some information there for you. And let's continue. So in this section, there are some baddies. And as well as these little blue medallions. If you shoot them all, you get a special, not a special gun, but you can get a free handgun, a free new one. So I'm going to do that. And these chickens will drop eggs and they act as healing items. So nothing wrong with grabbing them up. All right, there you are. I'm going to wait for him to try to climb and then just knife him. This is how we do it in the hood. Yeah. You like, right? This is prison rules. Okay, about the blue medallions. 15 blue medallions, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more will be reward awarded. The rest is eligible. Okay. So it's not going to tell you what you'll be rewarded with, but I already know. Maybe I shouldn't have spoiled it, so sorry for spoilers. Take that. I hear the footsteps of a man. So murder me. There he is. Deranged man. I like that beanie. Give me that beanie. You're getting jacked, son. I don't know. Am I trapped in here with them, or are they trapped in here with me? I'll let you guys be the deciders. Well, I'm definitely trapped in here with that guy. He came out of nowhere. Yeah. Don't like being stabbed, do you? It's not so good. All right. I don't know why they just disintegrate into bubbling piles of goo, but uh, it's pretty uh, cool, I guess. Come on, give me an egg. So this is a good, probably a good time to use an egg, just because it will. Let me combine. Yellow herbs uh, increase your maximum health. Red herbs mixed with green herbs will give you a full heal. Uh, and uh, a green herb will just give you like a third or a little bit of your health back if you use it. If you can, you can combine three herbs to make it a more powerful healing item. If you so choose to do that. All right, there's a medallion right there. Boom. Ah, got two out of five or two out of fifteen down here. Here's this uh. Beer sign. There are treasures in this game that you can combine with other treasures to make it a more valuable treasure. So we're going to do that. Here's a box. I did forget a medallion back here on the top of this. Uh, uh, I don't know. On the top of this roof. You see it? Shoot at it. Boom. And then I head right back up here. So this uh, game is divided up in up into chapters, and then each chapter has little sections of the chapter. So I kind of think each video will be one section of the chapter. I'm recording this at 60 frames per second, but I don't know if that's a good thing to do. I don't know what the native uh, frame rate is for the Switch, so might not be good to try to record it at a higher frame rate than is possible. Could uh, distort the video. Or maybe 
other things slow some stuff down in the recording. The capture card I am using is supposed to be able to record at 60 frames per second, but we'll see. So over here is this uh, necklace. You want to shoot this thing first, this little thing that's holding the thing open, so you, when you shoot it, it will fall on top of that. If you were to shoot it without knocking that thing over, it will go into the brown nasty water, and it makes the value of it less. Alright. Don't throw it at me. You take it. Took a couple more hits to kill that guy. All right, sometimes if you scare the chickens, it will lay an egg. But no such luck there. It's back here. All right, so, grenade. A lot of your time is gonna be spent like, just looking for loot. Okay, so six of a lot out of 15. There's one more up here. And that should be all in the uh, section. If you don't know where the medallions are, you can push. Uh, there's a map you can use for the switch. It's the X button, and these little blue dots show you where the uh, medallions are, just so you can see if you got them all. We're not over in the other section where the medallion, the rest of the medallions are, so we can't get those yet. But, uh, don't worry, we will. Eventually, not in this episode. Okay, I think I got all the collectibles and all the stuff I could get. Let's just top off my gun to the next part. So there's some quick time events in this game, which, uh, are not hard, but I'm not always so good at it, so... Just gotta watch for these signposts. That means there's like a trap or something nearby. And let's see if I can not die. So you want to push the button as quickly as you can, and then there's gonna be a another button prompt that's gonna tell you to dodge. Oh, that was always uh get me kind of nervous because uh, there's been times where I failed those simple as they are especially the first time you're like looking down at your controller trying to mash the button and then it tells you to push other buttons and you don't see it because you're not looking at the screen and you're just like son of a bitch alrighty so these guys have dynamite in their hand if you're a careful shot you can hit it blow them up it's kind of hard the farther out they are the harder it is to aim Get them. Wanted to get that money. If you wait too long, they will. Uh, oh shoot! I'm dead. I am so close to death. Look! Look how much health I have. Well, it's a good time to use that. So you want to watch out for those bear traps, man. That will ruin your day. It almost ruined mine. Oh. Let's see if I can hit that. I'll probably waste more ammo trying to shoot it than I would if I were to just try to not shoot it. Oh, there's a bomb in there. Okay, he blew it up with his... Why did they do this? I don't know where that guy is. Oh, there he is. All right, he blew up, holding his dynamite. So that's good. It's very good. No! Don't kill me. Just a grown man. I'm a very scared grown man. 
Sounds like they got blowed up. I don't want to be that close when I hit. If I try to shoot his TNT, that would not be a good idea. Can I hit him? I feel like as soon as I am in his view, he's going to throw that TNT at me. Just die already. I want to live. Oh, I killed him. He dead. All right. Hey, grenade. Hear that thumping? It's not just your imagination, viewers. That's the sound of somebody doing something. There's the bird nests. Shoot them, there's treasure. And you want to get that treasure because uh, you're not going to be able to come back this way, I don't think, later. And if you miss it, you miss it. And that's something I don't like about uh, video games is when they have things that are able to be missed and you can't go back. So earlier I picked the, or hit the lock off with my knife, but if you do this, you can kick the doors down. Leon's just that BA. Just take that. These typewriters is how you save the game. But I'm not gonna save the game while I'm playing the game. You can save it in between parts. There we go. Shoot that thing. You don't want to run into it and die like a fool. Doing pretty good so far. I haven't died yet. So, I mean, that counts for something, right? I thought for sure I'd be dead already. Let's uh, see what's in there. Wait, is there anything in this? No. I think I've gotten everything I can get in this area, so let's see what's going on. smoke got gum perfect the big cheese what well leon was just manhandled so, that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, this has been the Game Casual. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, push that like button. If you have something to say, comment. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.